I remember it was in Zimbabwe. We went to preach the gospel. That's the largest crowd I've ever ministered to in my life. The stadium was filled up 25,000 people. And the people outside were more than the people inside. When you say, shout hallelujah, and you hear it, woo, it's like the noise of many waters. I was ministering and I decided to step out of the auditorium of the stadium to go outside to minister to the people outside. And the witches rose up. There were many in number, many witches, many witches rose up. And they spoke in their local tongue and through the aid of the interpreter, the interpreter was interpreting for people. But when we went outside, the interpreter had to interpret to me. He said, the witches have cursed you. They have joined themselves together to curse you. It's not one. They curse you as a witchcraft congregation. And it was the curse of death that they put upon you. But what they were not aware of is the capacity of the combustion engine that was operating on the inside. Your capacity will change tonight in the name of Jesus. And the same place where you were defeated before, you will go back there again. The witches join themselves together and release a curse of death. Oh my God. I asked them to bring a table. A table. So I mounted that table. But you know we are not on the same level. We are not at all. I had to mount the table. When I mounted the table, the witches came around the table and were, oh my God, oh my God. But you see what happened to me is what the Bible describes as endure, endure the muscles. The muscles began to come out. You, you, your muscles will come out. Your muscles, it will come out. The witches were humiliated in the public. Today we want to humiliate witches now. Just in case your destiny has been tied down somewhere. Oh my God, you are coming out. You are, you are coming out. Because the hand of God will be stretched for tonight and nothing will stop him. We finished from Zimbabwe and went to Kenya. The witches of Kenya came together and began to curse me in Swahili. I received curses in Zulu. Received curses, I don't know the name of the language in Zimbabwe. Received in Swahili. Received in Isakiri. Received in Ghan of Ghana or Volta. But Satan does not know the capacity of your engine. In the arithmetics of tarrying, Jesus doesn't want to change the natural. It is the supernatural that he wants to put you on overdrive so that no weapon that is fashioned against you shall be able to prosper. Somebody jump on your feet tonight because we want to be endued with power. Thanks for watching. We believe that you've been blessed by this powerful content. Please do well to like and tell us how this video has blessed you in the comment section below. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel to stay updated for more powerful content like this. God bless you.